a few weeks ago. Now we got Cameron Haynes. Yeah. He's an endurance athlete, bow hunter, yeah. and a guy that runs way more miles than I do every <laughs> single day. You're in here as we speak for America Fest. We're mm -hmm. at the podcast studio in Phoenix, Arizona, and you're from Eugene, Oregon. Yeah, yeah, that's right. So. I need you to give people the, the breakdown of, of each day of your life. I know you've given that a lot. Did you yeah. run before you got on the plane or how'd that work? This morning, no. Had to get up at, what time? Did, three. Th well, the alarm didn't go off because anytime I'm going somewhere, you're always waking up looking yeah. at it. But it, the alarm was set for 3.30, so no running before that today. <laughs> but man, it's beautiful here in Phoenix, so hmm. we'll be running this afternoon in the sun. So each day, are you running about... A marathon a day or what's what's that look like now yeah when i'm getting like if i'm working towards a race like a 200 mile race or something like that and definitely ramp up the mileage right mm -hmm. now i'm actually trying to put on a little more weight i feel like muscle protects my joints you yeah. know i'm i'm no no spring chicken <laughs> so you're 54 right 54 now, right? yeah so it's uh i got to do things i got to protect the body too so i lift a lot more and run a little less this time of year mm -hmm. but if i'm to answer your question, if I'm getting ready for a big, like, like I said, a, a long endurance run, I'll get up in the morning and run, you try to get in, you know, 10 miles before work. I run at lunch and then I'll run in the evening. And my goal when I'm going hard is a marathon a day. Mm -hmm. So, and I do that with three different runs yep. because I still have a full-time job. Yep. And then you lift for about an hour each yep. day then? Yep. Try to lift. And um, my buddy, Eric, he's a trainer, one of the best athletic trainers in the area he'll make sure i'm getting stretched out and and uh then on top of that i'll get massage and try to just keep this thing going yeah yeah it was funny this this morning i, I went running i'm training for a marathon myself really? and it was so funny because i was like man i'm not feeling it today yeah i am like sometimes my, that happens i'm hurting a little bit yeah and i think a lot of it comes down to just the mental aspect but mm -hmm. for me like i'm running I got some good tunes going. Yeah. And all I'm thinking about is I'm sitting down with a guy that runs a marathon <laughs> every single day yeah. and I'm just getting to my seventh mile. So, so maybe I should keep it going. That's a good run. And it's been, it's been great, but that's, you kept me motivated because oh, I'm like, Cameron Haynes is here and I'm like, all right, let's, let's just keep going. Yeah. I mean, I, I do. I mean, I've had those runs too, where a mile feels like a long run, mm -hmm. but um, what I always try to keep in mind is what a blessing it is to be able to run, to be able to, cause I think, you know, you can overthink things. Sometimes it's just like, Hey, let's just put one foot in front of another and just mm -hmm. grind this thing out. But when you, uh, you know, in retrospect, or even if you're just in the moment, you can think about how many people would love to be able to run and can't, mm -hmm. they physically can't because there's some ailment or they're old or they're whatever else. And they would give anything to be what we're doing right now. And we're kind of, you know, uh, being negative about it yeah. and so it's like it takes that switch to think god I, this is such a blessing to be able to do this and our bodies are able to you know we have this goal and our bodies are able to carry us through it so um yeah i mean some runs are tough some runs are great mm -hmm. but all runs are a, a gift i think this is charlie kirk founder and ceo of turning point usa if you liked this video be sure to subscribe to our youtube channel at Turning Point, USA.